with one click, AI just turned my 33 minute long video into social media clips without any manual editing. So that was me after using Kapwing's repurposed studio, and as you can see, I was pretty happy with the results. However, Carson a couple of hours ago was sitting here with a 33 minute recording of a Zoom interview to edit and absolutely no idea where to start. If that sounds familiar, well, I'm here to help. This video is going to show you the easiest way to turn your long form videos into short form clips. And we're gonna do it in real time. We're gonna do it in 10 minutes or less, kind of like um, that show 24, was it 24 hours? Does anyone remember about that show? Where it happened in real time? Anyway, we're doing that today. Step one is launch repurpose studio. So let's start by opening the repurpose tab on kapwing.com. Next, I'm going to upload a long form video. This can be interviews, it can be podcasts, tutorials, like training videos, anything that is one long recording, but you want it dissected into specific short clips. And for this example, I'm gonna have a 33 minute interview that I want cut down into smaller bite-sized social media clips. And as you can see, once the content has been uploaded, you can decide the length of each clip with options ranging from 15 seconds to three minutes per clip. Now, the most helpful aspect of the tool is this little clip topics section. Basically, you can describe the topics that you want AI to identify, and the tool will extract those clips and line them up for you. So, for example, this is an interview with a big shot AI creator called Big Yowie, and I just want to cut out the clips where he is talking about monetizing his content. So to do this, I will enter a selection of keywords related to the topic of monetization. So basically things that he likely said in the interview. I'll enter monetize, monetization, money, make money, how much, and cost. All of them separated by commas. And then, you guessed it, I'm gonna click generate clips. On to step two, which is review your video clips. The loading process will take a few minutes, but trust me, it is worth the wait. Your finalized clips will generate on a page like this, and it will give you a complete overview of how the video has been dissected. Each clip has a title and a transcript, which makes it super easy to visualize how you want to take the project forward using multiple shorter clips. Importantly at this step, the creative direction is completely up to you. So you can choose to edit the clips individually, you can tweak the AI prompt and regenerate clips, or export the clips straight to your device or social media. But before proceeding, there are seven tools floating at the top of your screen here that will help speed up your clip creation workflow even further, and you're gonna love them, I love them, so I hope you love them. And that's step three, apply a template. So you have a mini library of draft clips ready to fine tune, but how do you take that same lightning quick process of clip generation into the editing process? These tools are gonna help you do that. The fastest way to add a consistent style across your videos is by using the templates button. It's the first button of the seven and it has a symbol that kind of looks like Stonehenge. So select Stonehenge and it will open up a few editing styles that you recently used on Kapwing. I have these three here. Just pick your style and hit apply to clips and this will transform all of your clips into the editing style you most recently used. But let's say you wanna create a custom editing style that you haven't used before. Hit the plus button and then start editing one of your clips following the blue walkthrough commands that appear on screen. Now here you can edit this single video clip by adding all of the components that you wanna replicate across all the other clips. So let's say subtitle style, font, colors, background music, maybe even like a brand logo in a certain placement. And to show you how that works, here is a finalized edit that I've done using just one of the interview clips. So what have you learned um, about generating AI videos that most people might not know? The cost of generating videos. Title the editing style however you want in the top left. I will use interview clip style and then export the video. This process will only work if you export the video, so make sure you remember that step. Now, fingers crossed, when I head back to the repurposed studio, a new template has just been added. And if you decide to regenerate more video clips or even upload an entirely different video to the studio, you'll be able to instantly apply the style, all thanks to the little Stonehenge button. Finally, there are four pre-made Kapwing template styles that have been designed to replicate webinars or podcast layouts. 
So if I select podcast two, for example, you'll see a bold subtitle style is added that highlights keywords in different colors alongside a dynamic waveform. So whatever your creative vision, Repurpose Studio really helps you simplify this editing process. You only have to edit once and then you can apply that to all of your generated clips. And for many creators, you could wrap up the editing process right there. And you can do that by exporting each clip into the right hand column and then using the share with socials button. But what if you don't want to create an entire style? You just want to do one small tweak to one video. Well, that is where those six other tools are going to come in really handy. And that's step four, quick batch edits. The most important button in fast paced editing is the aspect ratio button, which is displayed as a nine by 16 icon here. When you click that, it will tell you the video sizes needed to ensure your content is optimized on various platforms, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. And if I want the interview I'm editing to fit perfectly on screen when I'm posting to TikTok, I simply need to select that corresponding template. And as you can see, if I flick through the different aspect ratios, the video frame will automatically be cropped to fit each platform. And the same streamlined approach is applied to subtitles, which is located to the right. When you click that, you will be given hundreds of subtitle styles to choose from that you can apply to all your generated videos. So let's go for pop art and pop. The subtitle is applied to all my videos. The final two icons in the list allow you to toggle on the use of emojis and waveforms, but it's this icon I wanted to finish the video by showing off. If you've got two minutes, this one's a game changer. It's turning on speaker focus that will automatically change the frame of your clips to ensure each speaking subject is in shot. But enough of me talking, let's make this visual. Here is an example of a clip without speaker focus enabled. $3,000 per month, potentially. Oh, so you don't get unlimited credits. And now here is with speaker focus. $3,000 per month, potentially. Oh, so you don't get unlimited credits. So there you have it. Kabwing's Repurpose Studio, it's super, super fast, super efficient, super, super flexible. And once AI has identified and organized your clips, the rest is up to you. You can create a template. You can use the magic button at the top for fast batch editing, or you can go in and individually edit each one by bringing it into the Kabwing Editing Studio. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed for more tips on how to level up your content and happy editing.